So, hi everyone, as you can see by the name and by the suit that I'm wearing, again, this is the theme of blue and red. This is an alternate design of Spider-Man. Now, this has been an alternate design for a while. If you Google, I'm going to put a picture up of it either at the start or at the end of this video or maybe right now. So that was the picture right there and this artist is unknown at the minute. Again, this picture was shared into the Spidey Society a few months back. But there was, I will say the fan's name here at the end, he sent me a picture and says, John, I think you should do this. So this is how I came up with this design. Again, this is just a blue tight fit Lycra shirt. So this is nice tight fit Lycra. And I designed the spider legs coming around here. Now, I haven't finished the design altogether yet. I changed up the eye lenses. The eye lenses on the original design are actual spiders. So the actual spiders are going here. I have sort of eye frames designed in those shapes. Okay, so these actually were the eye frames that I had previously. I was going to put on this mask and they were going to go like that. And the spider legs kind of come out of here and of here. And they go on your eye pieces. And I will be making that video very soon or that mask very soon. I have again my shoulder guards and my roller skating pads on this suit. I've used these for whoa, I've used these for the flesh, I've used these for kid flesh, I've used these for blue beetle. Uh, I think I used them on the grifter. If you want to check the Instagram, the grifter is on there. And I love how this fits so far. Again, the spider legs kind of wrap around and go down here. I didn't get the design exactly right. And if you hear sirens, that is because we are in Ireland. But I have some Paltex coming up around here. You can use EVA foam or cardboard. Just try and space your pieces apart. As I said in the previous video, all my pieces, when you spread out, they kind of space out together. And that is so I have maximum durability and maximum movability. So, or maneuverability, sorry. But I have, again, the red line coming down here because this was my alternate 2099 suit. So if you go way back about a month or two ago, I made the Spider-Man 2099 original suit. I didn't like how it looked or how it turned out, so I have taken off the badge and I've just glued on all these other pieces. Okay, so I came to a shortage of Lycra fabric and where I get my material is the Paragon fabrics. So if this camera just, yeah, there we go, the Paragon fabrics. And that is the information right there if you just take a screenshot of that and I will leave the link for their Facebook page in the description below and yeah that is where I get my stretchy Lycra fabric you can buy a one-piece morph suit and add all these pieces on as I say before or buy some nice tight fit sportwear and just glue all onto the top of that using EVA foam or cardboard now I wrap all my armor pieces in the colored fabric so you can see this piece is black, this piece is red, but they are made from the exact same material, which is Paltex. So I've shown this in many videos, guys. This is Paltex, used in Irish dancing dresses. This can be found in a Hobby Lobby if you live in the US. Or if you want, you can use EVA foam or cardboard. There are many videos out there, guys, and on YouTube, of a lot of people doing magnificent things with cardboard or with EVA foam. So I have my black piece going here and down my side. Again, I have that separation line in here so that I can move, maneuver about. So when I bend, that open and closes. Uh, I have my arms nice tight fit. My shoulder piece is going on here. And these are roller skating slash knee pads or safety pads that I got from a discount store. That is Lidl, L-I-D-L. -L here in the UK. They are very cheap when it comes to basically everything and I got some nice skating pads. I've used these again as I say for a lot of cosplays so they do come in handy. Try and get your hands on some cheap ones on eBay or Amazon and I've added on just a little black piece going on here. I still have to develop on this. I want to put a zip going all the way down the suit so that it kind of looks like a jacket but I love how it looks. I will show you my backpack strap. So this is just a little plastic buckle that I have going in the middle to give an effect so that it looks like a bag or a backpack. I have my phone pouch here that my mobile phone fits in. So just show you guys right now. If I have my mobile phone and I'm going to cons or conventions, I just slide that in there and I have it. 
So I got this in Poundland, that again is a discount store here in the UK. If you check your local discount stores, try and find some phone or camera pouches and they come very cheaply. Try and get them color, uh, color coded if you want. So if you're making a black or yellow belt say, you would maybe want to get some yellow or black ones. Okay, the strap is again off an old backpack that I made, that I had, that was an old Joker backpack. You can buy some utility straps, you can get some straps off of old clothing or old sportswear. And just don't go tearing up all your new things guys. Keep your eye out and always be being creative with your things. So I have reused a lot of things and one of the things that I have reused is this. So if you've watched my videos from way, way, way back two to three years ago, I made a Spider-Man new generation shield suit and that was my first ever Spider-Man suit. It was a white layer base and I made the spider backpack. So this is the spider backpack from all the years ago and I've just incorporated on it. I've made some new legs so you can see they just the four legs going here and here. This is actually made from cardboard, okay? So this whole backpack is made from cardboard. You can see the kind of ridges right there when I shine it into the light. It has those cardboard ridges. And I've just made the legs from the Peltex. I've upgraded and developed it. But never throw away your old things, guys. Again, as I say, everything can be reused or recycled in some sort of way into a new prop. So I knew I would need this one day. I have some Velcro here and a little strap just opening up. So Velcro there and Velcro here. That just comes down onto that. So I maybe will make a new spider backpack for all you guys. You will make, I want to make it bigger so that you, if you ever go to a convention, you can always, but this, is, this fits some comic books. So if you want, you can fit some comic books in here. Uh, you can fit some of your I don't know if Spider-Man had some calculations for something, he would be able to fit it in there. But that is about it. I want to make a new one that is bigger. But all you would do is get a big piece of cardboard, start to curve that around, make it the size that you want it and the thickness that you want. Make a back for that, glue it to it, and you can see just the edges right here coming along. I made a back and a front piece, just glued them together. So again, as I said, it's just cardboard and this is wrapped in some red fabric using the hot glue gun. As I say, I wrap all my pieces in the colored fabric to give it that texture or tone. Sorry about that flashing light. My camera equipment is getting upgraded, so stay tuned for that. And that is the Spider backpack. I'm just wearing some black skinny jeans with this. As I say, these black pieces right here, they integrate on down to actually show and make it as if the black is one piece. So if I just pull that out there, you can see the blue, but I just tuck that up underneath the suit and it actually looks like it is connected to the black. Okay, so it looks like the suit just comes down as one piece and everything connects up. So always remember guys, whatever pants or trousers you are wearing, try and maybe blend your suit into it. If you're doing a kid flash, make your yellow jacket, add some red pieces onto here and then buy some red pants or red trousers and there you go, your suit would blend into your uh, pants nice and tightly. Woo, that was a mouthful. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, you can watch how to make a mask. I have a lot of mask Spider-Man videos. I have the lenses right here. I've shown this previously in the alternate 2099 Spider-Man. But I actually made this mask for this suit itself. So this is made from the blue Lycra fabric. The spelling will be in the description below. I have many videos. Uh, of the process of how to make this. So you cut two sides, add your zip, uh, make your lenses from either cardboard, EVA foam, Peltex, add your plastic layer for your shielding and your mirror layer, and you have your mask. Okay, now I use some white stretchy fabric. Again, go check out the Paragon fabrics and uh, uh, say, John Hay sent you they will know what you mean I buy a lot of fabric off of them all the time and yeah thank you so much for watching everyone you're amazing thank you for the positivity on the channel so far and all just overall all around and yeah if you want to make an alternate design or if you really really like a design either try and find the artist try and find the person who owns it ask them can you make it if the artist is unknown I would say go for it guys so this is just an homage to that artist and to that suit. 
Thank you, man, for creating it. Thank you, man. Uh, I will actually find that now. So, so his name was Cosplay underscore Dude. All right, that is on Instagram, guys. If you have an Instagram account, please go check him out. He is such a cool guy. He sent me that picture. Again, the artist is unknown, so we don't know who owns it. Thank you, man, for sending that in and revamping some ideas that I had. Always that your geek speak from me, everyone here in Ireland. I'm John Hay and the alternate Spider-Man, we don't know what you call the suit. Love you guys, please subscribe and comment, always at your geek speak, and bye.